What's it? What's this supposed to be? A pot with water, three balls, and I'm, I'm gonna other explain. bits and pieces. I'm going to explain. You take the camera. You okay. take the camera. This is a vlog about spinning balls. I want to uh, practice some new spinning ball tricks and I have various different options. This was one spinning ball that I had, but I really only use this for um, doing things with uh, in a street show. I get it and I spin it and then I give it to a kid and they've got like a, a stick and I give it to them and it puts on the stick and it stays there spinning really well. And it's really good at that if you've got a stick because it's got all these little dimples in it and these dimples, the stick just sticks in one of those and it spins a really long time and the kids got up on the stick and I can go like this and people are cheering, it's really great. You ready? Here it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it from the start of the show. Sebastian! <laughs> However, for the tricks that I wanted to do, these little dimples kind of grip a bit and stick. There's too much friction there on the end of the finger. It spins pretty well, but it's got this big lump at the bottom. Of course, you can inflate it more, um, but it's not a lump, a dip. But the dip, you know, it's still there. It falls into the right place. However, if you, you've got to spin it the right way up. So if I'm doing a trick like, you know, just spin the ball, I can actually orientate it so it spins in the right way where the weight goes to the outside. And you can tell where a ball is weighted. Shall we try this out? I'm just going to put this in here. You can see where the weight of a ball is by Ooh. the... You see that? It drops yeah. down to the bottom and you realise that there's actually some weight in the ball and the weight is down there. Let me quickly get a towel. I should have thought about getting a towel because I'm going to be dipping balls in I water. Was, I was about to mention that. Yes. Too. So, it, but it's really good. So, but when it's inflated more, there's actually less... There's, there's less friction against the fi finger because less of it's pushing, it's like it's closing and less of it, but then it gets more difficult to spin because when it gets, oh, water spinning off it, when it gets more and uh, more solid, like more and more inflated, it actually becomes more and more bouncy. And you actually want it to just go plonk and go blop and just go thunk onto the finger sure. and that not move. However, and this is the weird thing, that you can actually see um, a precession, like the orbital precession, or maybe that's the right word, where if you spin it and the weight is on the top, the weight wants to go to the outside. So if you spin it and catch it there, it actually wants to go all the way around and end up there. Let's see if this works. Actually, it's probably not going to work that well because there's such a bump in it. Yeah, you can see it moving a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. the, the thing comes to the outside, maybe, maybe if I stop it there, where is it? No, it's still on top, which means it's not actually that good for doing this thing. Nice spin, spins nicely like that, but really to get it spinning perfectly, you want this to be on the outside. And it's an okay ball, but um, not, not that fantastic. I can hear it. Can, when you, if you hear it, can you hear it? Maybe you probably can't hear it. But you can hear it going above on my finger. It spins for a long time, but not that steady. So the other spinning, spinning ball that I had uh, was this one. And I got this one and I was searching through um, you know, loads, of, loads of different places. This, this ball is probably, uh, this one's from 2007 or something. This one's probably from about 2002 when I bought this ball. Actually 2006 for the World Cup. And, uh, and it span really well, and you can see how much I've been using it because it wears away where my fingers are. And you see there's these little dimples there, more little dimples. That's where I was spinning it and putting it on a wooden stick, but it turns out that a wooden stick like chewed it away, started drilling a hole through it, which is not very good at all. Um, uh, it spins on the finger okay. However, um, the, the other day when I went down to the cellar to get it, I, I was like, oh, it's, it's a bit and not very well inflated. So I got this and you wet the end of it or just lick the end and stick it in. However, it's so old that the rubber is obviously not sticking very well and I went punk and I just pushed the valve into the ball and now... Oh no! You can, maybe you can hear it then. Yes. It's just bouncing around in there. So it's weird that it's actually been holding its shape so long that it does come back out again. But you can see, well maybe you can't see, but it's not very round. And when I was spinning it on my finger, it doesn't really spin so well. Maybe this is a better one, but it's now it's- bouncing. Yeah, It's bouncing. Yes, it's more bouncy, but it's fine. So this is where the weight is. Uh, no, sorry, the weight is actually, this is why I like this ball, is that this, the, the thing here, isn't the heaviest bit. The heaviest bit was actually around the edges of the ball. So when you span it, it would automatically get the the seam line around the equator it's, of the ball. It's then, it looks like straight lines yes. then. And here you can see where it spins. If you spin it where the uh, where the, the valve is, the, the fingers end up going down into into this area. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that ball is, is okay, but broken. So what I wanted so to what do- what you should do is you should probably throw it out. No, actually I quite like it. It still spins surprisingly well, even though it, 
it, it does rattle. But if I'm going to work on something, I want a ball which I can like replace or use. And also, I went to the Just Juggling shop today. Hello, Johannes. Johannes, who I just met there. I met him at the Dutch convention. And he was at the Just Juggling shop. And he said, the only reason I knew this was here was because I saw it on the vlog. So hello, yeah, yeah. Uh, vlog watchers. Um, just Juggling in Berlin. So he was there buying clubs. I went along to, to buy some other bits and pieces. And I checked out what the juggling ball was. 25 euros for a ball pretty much like this. And I spat it on my finger. And I was like, it's a good ball. But it's completely white. And I want a little bit more colour. I actually like to be able to see the spin on a ball. And, um, and it also gives it a bit more depth. Yeah, it's, it's a bit more depth. Shape. If it's just a white ball mm. spinning, you can't see how fast it's spinning. And 25 euros is really uh, quite expensive. So I went to Toys R Us, didn't have a good selection, went to Decathlon and found this ball. Now, the thing is with this ball um, is that we have this thing that this is actually meant to be slightly more inflated. But as I was saying before, the more inflated a ball is, the more it bounces off the finger. Now, so here, that's that, that kind of, it's difficult to make it stuck on the finger because it kind of bounces off. I'm exaggerating it now. So that bounces off the finger, which is okay, um, but I want there to be more weight because there's a trick that I can do, which is, hold on, one of the tricks that I want to work on is do the juggle, do it in one hand, spin and throw it up and catching it on the ball. It works. Sweet. It works. <laughs> it works. A bit. Now the thing is, it's not going to work at all with that now because that's losing all shape. It doesn't have any strength, um, any doesn't structure. structure. Mm. And this one spins well on the finger, although I just caught it directly in, in there. the hole. So spins well on the finger. But if I did this, because it's so tight, it'll just, that's just going to bounce straight off. It's going to bong yeah. straight off. So what I can do, there's two options. One option is to let some air out of it. But when when you let some air out of it, it loses shape. A little bit too much and it gets really small as well I mean it gets really really small so that's a problem that's an issue now there's different ways that you can uh, that you can remedy this one is by getting a bigger ball and letting it down a bit the other way is to get some more weight because you actually want for a spinning ball you want more weight around the edge as much as possible that's why you can't spin a solid ball you can spin balls of any size maybe one quite small like that you can spin these ones but you can't spin a silhouette because it has to be hollow in the middle the weight needs to be on the outside so the other thing that we can do is get more weight to the outside and so i'm gonna give this a go let's just do a time lapse of me getting the air out of this uh, what I've done is let all the air out of it, and the reason I've done that will become apparent quite soon. Um, the thing is, this is actually a good way of transporting um, balls, but if you spent 25 euros on a spinning ball and then you let all the air out of it and crush it down like this, it actually loses its shape, you know, it, because it gets crushed down, it doesn't keep its shape, you don't want to be doing that too much too often with the balls. Um, especially uh, if you're going to do... Well, I guess it's better if you have a spare ball. Now, you may think that I'm actually going to have a spare ball, so you think, oh, this one's going to be using for practice at home, this is going to be using for travel, and I'm going to keep them, swap them around, so I, you know, if one of them gets damaged or you know, it breaks in any way. But that's actually not the case. What I'm going to do is also let this ball down. Time lapse. Actually, to be honest, with this one, I'm not going to let it all the way down, okay? Because what I'm going to do with this one is actually uh, cut a hole in it. All I need to do is cut a hole, see if this works. I should probably... Uh, well, I can't try this out. There's, there isn't one I made earlier, because the only way I can really do this is by just doing it straight away on, ca on camera. Now, what I do, all I'm going to do is actually cut this hole out here. Now, this will have um, two, two reasons to do this. The hole will have to be bigger. Uh, this actually same trick works really well if you want a really good learning ball spinning ball, is you get different um, uh, beach balls. And, and what you're going to do, what we're going to do, is we're going to put this ball inside this ball, and then we're going to inflate the inside ball, and hopefully it's going to work. I think this, this hole is going to probably be a little bit too small to shove this in, but here we go. No, it's going to have to be much bigger. When I was doing the balance test with this earlier, with this ball, the, of course the heaviest part was where the valve was. And so the valve was always dropping down to the bottom, and when you spin it, the, the valve always went to the outside, which is fine. Um, but uh, let's see, is this going to work? I don't know. This might be a complete failure. Oh, this is going to be a real pain, isn't it? All I want to do is get this ball in there without having to cut the other one too much, and it should go. And this is this is rubber. This should get through. This might be another time lapse thing. Maybe I should have used some lubricant. <laughs> Just thinking of some rude jokes. I shouldn't tell them. I don't think this is going to work. You should get some lubricant. I think that works better than. What, what kind of lubricant? Some, some 
olive oil or some, no, no, I'll get some, uh, I'll get some vegetable milk. oil. Here we go. How about some? Uh, how about some? Just not a too bit. much. Though. No, not too much, but just a bit. Okay. All right then. <laughs> oh, this feels so disgusting. All right. Maybe it was just the lubricant that I needed. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh no, my, now my hands are too lubricated. <laughs> this is not working at all. Oh, there's, actually, there's air, more air getting into it. <laughs> I didn't want to cut too much of a big hole in it. Maybe I'll just need to cut a bigger hole, I don't know. Um, maybe this whole thing is going to fail because I've not done this for a very long time and not with this size ball. Do you want me to try? My hand's a bit smaller. No, no, it's going in, it's going in now. Here we go. So, yes, this is, this is, good. This is working now. So, what we're going to do, as I said before, we're going to have this double layer, which means it's going to be better weighted. <laughs> and what I would really want to do is actually offset it slightly. So if there is any other weight which isn't there, it'll be offset. So if I turn that around 90 degrees. Right, so now inflate this. Again, no idea if this is going to work perfectly or not. Also what happens is the weight that we've, the, the weight of this that we cut out of this will be offset by the extra weight of the valve in this spot anyway, maybe. Who knows? Maybe the ball inside is a bit creased, but once it starts expanding, both of them should expand out to completely, completely round. That's probably pretty good. Now, I'm just gonna have to go and wash and dry my hands properly because they're covered in soap. It's really heavy now. It should be heavy because now, the <laughs> it's slippy because I've got soap on it. And just uh, wash your hands. Yeah, and just wash my hands. hands. Anyway, so theoretically now, if I spin it, oh, actually that's even more heavy than I was expecting. Actually, maybe I need to take a bit of air out of it because it's still pretty bouncy, but the weight of it's pretty good. Okay, so that's working. I'm going to take a little bit of air out of it. Okay. Okay, now there is extra weight on the outside. The ball is smooth, there's not a big dip. It looks like a good ball on, on my finger. And actually the weight is going to the outside all the time. Because the extra weight is there, it should spin a lot more. Because you know, with extra weight on a gyroscope, it should spin a lot more. And it's really slippy on my hand still. Maybe, maybe if I just let it go off. We can check the, uh, where the weight is. Yes, the weight is, actually it's not quite as bad. Because beforehand, when, we, when I tested it out, where the valve was and I let it go, it swung straight underneath. Oh, it still is doing that. All right, I just need to get it really dry because demonstrating ball spinning with a wet ball doesn't really work with wet hands. Ah, that feels better. Oh, much better already. So, this should, a little bit of a wall, but unlike this ball, when there was a bit of a wobble and it just stays there because the finger grips, um, this ball, because it's smooth, if I do it and the weight is at the end and I just leave my finger, you'll see the patterns maybe starting to change a bit. I've just got a feeling. A bit like that. So this is a ball which instead of costing 25 euros for a plain white ball, these were 1 euro 50 or one, no, 1.99 each. This is one which has got a nice pattern on, looks like a sports ball that people recognize. It doesn't look like a trick. It spins a long time on the finger, mainly just because the weight of it and the smoothness of it will just keep it going for a really long time. Again, you just got to get a feel for it and uh, yeah, and you can do the tricks that you wanted to do like the, the ball, the ball stacking. So um, I think this is a pretty good deal. Hopefully you've learned something from this uh, little video.